above all other gods, we lay our crown and worship. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay sense a very strong burden to just make the altar call right now because someone is on his way to hell right now the Bible says and books were opened and another book was opened which was the book of life and men were judged according to their works from that book and whosoever's name was not found in that book he was cast into the lake of fire this is the second death please listen very carefully the business of your salvation is not a political issue the business of your salvation is not even a religious issue you will always find among so many people like this in this auditorium all the overflows outside and across the globe there must be someone who has been struggling, wrestling like Jacob with God. And Jesus is giving you an opportunity. This service is first for you. Now, you see, the thing about the faith walk is that no one would put pressure on you and compel you. But I, I admit to you, by the integrity of Scripture, that the Bible says, He that is not joined to his spirit is none of his. The only condition to belong to God in experience is that you submit your life in totality to Jesus. I'm going to make the altar call. Don't get used to the altar call as though it's just some religious thing that preachers do to show that they are serious with God. This is a serious business and someone's salvation is tied to it. Perhaps like this, our brother who came and gave the testimony, there might be someone scattered around this place listening and you're saying, Apostle, I'm tired of this kind of life. I am tired of going around in circles. Hallelujah. I'm going to raise a song. This one, I won't count one to five. As I raise that song, run like there's fire on the mountain and come before Jesus, whether you are inside here. And then if you are in any of the overflows, run to your LED screens with your heart open. Lord Jesus, I have come to you sincerely, no playing games. And you know the Holy Spirit is speaking to you by the time I raise this song. Don't sit back there watching others. This is the issue of your salvation. We look to Yahweh. Come, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh. We look to Yahweh.
Bible says, and there is no other name given unto men by which we must be saved. No politician's name can save you. No political party sustains within itself to administer salvation. No king, no president, no apostle, no prophet, no crusade can save. No conference can save. No church can save. Salvation resides exclusively in the office of the Christ. You can meet a man and not be saved. You can meet a church and not be saved. You can be a citizen of a responsible nation and still not be saved. You are still coming. We are giving you one more minute. Finally, win that war. Don't sit back and then the Holy Ghost is convinced. We are in the days of his power. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we, 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 are in, we are stepping into an age in the church where you will see the convicting power of the Holy Spirit like never before. People will be walking on the streets with no preacher and have visionary encounters like it happened to Paul. I'm telling you, you write this down. The Bible says in the day.